All right, guys, so right now what I'm getting ready to do is to build an infinite baffle setup for the SDR-18. This is a Sky Audio subwoofer, 600 watts IMS. All right, so the first thing you want to do is actually get your measurements, right? And that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so in order to make this make sense, I'm first going to show you guys what I'm trying to do. The subwoofers is going to be forward facing into the cabin. And this opening right here is what I have to seal off for that 18 inch subwoofer. And in order to do that, I'm going to get my tape measure out and I'm going to get right back with you guys. All right, so what we're going to need is a tape measure in order to get this next step done. This is very simple, guys. Nothing too hard about this. What we want to know is the width from side to side. And we also want to know the height. Okay, okay, so first we're going to go over here. I see about 40 inches there. The height is also around 19 inches. All right, guys, so what I've done now is I took a box cutter and I cut an old box up. This one here has a width of 39 inches. This one here has a width of 38 inches. I just cut two pieces just in case this right here is too tight of a fit. I can go ahead and mock up a baffle using the 38 inch one. This is the 39 inch one right here. That's the 39 inch. And as you can tell, it it, it, it hides a bit more in terms of um, side to side. Now, top to bottom, not so much, but that's okay because of the way that I'm, I'm designing it. All right, guys, here we go. That's the final cut right there. As you guys can see, turned out really, really nice. Let you guys see what it looked like from the inside. And that's what it'll look like from the inside. I get a better shot of this in the morning when the light's actually here. But that's what it'll look like. And I actually got room for two of the 18s. And that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one here put one over there so if you guys have this tool and you want to duplicate what i'm doing here that's your magic number right there 16 inches 7 16s. just wanted to share that with you guys all right so here we go two perfectly cut circles for my sdr 18s and man that looks really really nice all right, guys, so I got them mounted on the baffle, as you guys can see here. Pretty big subs, man. I ain't never had subs this big in my car before, so kind of excited about getting them installed. Um, as you guys can see, not much of a motor on them, but with this much surface area, you don't need a lot of motor, man. This is going to do just fine. Um... Anyway, I have to get some braces put on the back of them and then we'll get them installed in the car. Okay, so the objective is to get some glue on here. I'm using Tight Bond 3 in that bottle. And I'm gonna take this guy right here. I'm just gonna stick it on the bottom of that and then brace it a little bit. All right, so once you finish, this is what you're gonna be left with, something like this. You see that? Kind of stands on his own but i did make a rookie move here i should have made this bottom brace protrude at least half the, the distance or the height of this guy right here i didn't do that and that's what they look like right there got them in there look at that man it looks so intimidating. Like, that's my whole back seat. 
<laughs> That's crazy, man. My wife gonna go crazy when I turn this thing on. I ain't gonna tell her they in here. I'm gonna get her in here and just blow it back out. <laughs> anyway, got a little bit more to do. Gotta wire them up, then get them fired up. Okay, as you guys can see, I went ahead and wired everything up. You see that? Everything's wired in parallel. So basically what I did, took one wire from red to red, I shouldn't say red, <laughs> positive to positive, positive to positive, and then we got this here. This is my positive, and I got my negative wrapped. It was just a little bit of black heat shrink on it, because they're all the same color. But now that I've gotten everything wired up, it's time to plug them up, see what they sound like. All right, guys, so once again, we're on location, and we're in the Impala. We got the base meter in the kick, and right now, all we're trying to do is figure out what's our cabin peak. So we're gonna get the volume, turn about halfway there. We're gonna, of course, turn this volume all the way up. We're gonna do a base sweep. I'm gonna do a base sweep from 150 all the way down to 20 hertz. And we're gonna see what our peak value is on the base meter down here. Let's stop this test and get it going again. All right, and that's 20 hertz. That's the end of it, so I'm gonna stop this guy here. We got our 129, that's 129 decibels at what frequency? 38 hertz. That's our peak frequency right there. So what we're gonna do, now we know what our peak frequency is, we're gonna find that frequency in our, in our tone generator and we're gonna play only that tone at our loudest volume. Okay, so right now we're over here in our tone generator app, and as you guys can see, this is 38 hertz right here. We're gonna burp that 38 hertz after turning up our volume a little bit. I'm gonna put it on around 40. Something telling me don't do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Put it on around 40 and see what we get out of that. First, let's reset this guy. Reading, and there we go. Reset that guy. All right, so let's get this turned around for you guys. And we're gonna burp this at 38 hertz. All right, let's see what that was. That was 1.2 ohms at around 1,000 watts. And we got a 135. That's a 135. Now we're gonna bump the volume up to around three quarters. And we're gonna get this another go. 38 hertz. See if we can beat that. Whoa. That was, was that 8,000? Damn. That was right at 8,000 watts. Damn. And we got uh, 136.9 is what we got out of it. 136.9. I think that was too much power. <laughs> so let me turn it down a little bit and see if we can improve. Go about right there and see if we can improve. These SDRs do really, really good, guys. So what I'm going to do now, let's give it another go. Go 
that was about 4300 watts and there you go 137 you don't have to always beat your subwoofers down by overpowering them sometimes staying within their tolerances would actually help you gain okay you don't have to throw all your power at them we know i have a 8000 watt amp back there we know it does way more than that but we're not gonna just beat the sub up what we're gonna do now is gonna try a different frequency i'm gonna try 35 hertz let's try that Ooh, that sound better still got a 137 but i forgot to reset this guy let's reset let's see how much power that was at 35. That was around 3,200 watts. 37.2. I don't know if that point two was there already or what. It says 37.2. Okay. 137.2. Uh, let's bump it up a notch. My original readings would actually was actually 39 hertz. So I'm going to try 39 hertz this time. Let me get this reset. Clear that out. And see if we can get beat that 137.2 with 39 hertz. That was 4,500 watts. Nope, same thing. 137.2. So we already know going up in power is not going to increase anything. So I think that's probably where we are right now. And keep in mind, guys, that these don't have an enclosure they are basically playing free aired with no compression really at all this thing is not even sealed look at this i, I simply stuffed some box liner and i didn't put anything over here so it's not even completely sealed and it's almost getting a 140. now i know some people would look at this and be like 218s and you can't even get a 140 in the kick no <laughs> not with this i don't think that this is what this is set up for i think infinite baffle is more of an sq setup and it sounds damn good to me i i mean to my ear it sounds amazing so i'm not tripping that it is not like a spl beast or anything like that i don't care about that i want to save my trunk and have a nice sounding system so to say i can almost get a 140 and save all my trunk let me show y'all let me show you guys. This ain't fake. Let me show you guys. You see this? This is what you're dealing with right here. And like I said, it's not sealed up. I got some I stuff, <laughs> some felt material over there and it's braced with a piece of wood. That's it. That is it, guys. And to me, that sounds amazing to be able to get a 137 out of that and save like 95% of my trunk space. Look at that. 95% of my trunk space. Ain't that a shot? Look at that shot, man. <laughs> and it sounds amazing. So, but enough talk. We're going to see next what it sounds like on music. All right, so we, we just seen what this thing, you know, can do SPL wise, but this system, this setup is not about SPL. To me, this is an SQ setup. And I'm gonna play one of my favorite songs to show you guys exactly what this thing sounds like on music. <clears throat> because what it lacks in SPL, it makes up for in SQ. And I don't know if you guys remember me telling you quite some time ago, I'm more of an SQ guy anyway. So let's turn this up, guys.
absolutely amazing. comments guys would this be something that you would do in, a, in, a, in your setup i'm just trying to bring you guys some unique setups and save you some trunk space what do you guys think about it thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio it's the budget base here and i'm out